while we were filming, I seen about 10, 10 people, dad hats? 10 dad hats walk through this spot. 10 dad hats and no dads. Oh. oh. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fun Bro Style. We have a very special guest with us all the way from Los Angeles. Monica Lynn, AKA Thunder Cook. Hello. All right, so you work in the streetwear industry. We're in New York City right now, so we gotta talk about the hottest fashion trends in streetwear. Let's do it. You look like a high beast today. <laughs> oh, that's, that's how we're starting the video. Okay. okay. Top, Top streetwear trends for 2016, 2016. Let's, let's go. go. All right, so we're at BB Bubble Tea here in New York City. New York City is arguably the streetwear capital of the entire world. First of all, we gotta get the gorilla out of the room. Who has better style, New York or LA? New York. Oh! I think people in LA kind of like are really laid back. They'll like walk around in thong sandals. I think about the lifestyle in New York is that you, you don't have a car, so you're putting your money more into food and clothes. And definitely people here work out less. Like LA is very body focused. New York is more gear focused. Thundercup, you are in the streetwear game. So you came to us to deliver us a list about what's in trend, what's out of trend. I just know like Andrew's hat, the dad hat, the stepdad hat, whatever you want to call it. The adopted father. Uh, <laughs> this hat that was used to be only reserved for somebody like Chevy Chase or like when Ernest goes fishing, that's hot right now because of a man who often gets confused with Andre Drummond, Bryson Tiller. They were already going in trend and then Bryson Tiller started popping off and then you know he was wearing it all the time. It's like more casual, like people like to look like they're not trying. So. I feel like it's kind of a low key hat. It's like the one you put on with, you know, I didn't do my hair and then I just want to. Same. I, 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 for me, you know, I never did it because dad hat is not for the people with big noggins. People it, with really big square like GameCube heads should probably stick with those hats and not these. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what? Okay. Shade? <laughs> First of all, how do I look in a dad hat? Be honest. Look good. Okay. I, I never wore hat. Because yeah. Richie told me one time, I saw I was wearing, you know, a fitted forward. He was like, man, Andrew. You look like a 15 year old Japanese baseball player. <laughs> in my opinion, style trends are rotating too quick now. True. I think it's gonna last another year and that only certain people can wear them. Next trend, I would say all the Adidas shoes right now. The NMDs, AKA Nomads. Okay, so awesome. the NMDs, Ultra Boost Light, as well as Stan Smith yeah. and Superstar. What about like the Tubulars or like Y3? Oh, I think, snap. well, Y3s are a little hard because they're so expensive. Yeah, let's combine the Y3 and Tubular, yeah, give them half, each half okay, a point. Okay. So then Adidas got five popping kicks right now. I forgot the Yeezy, you gotta count the Yeezy. All right, so Adidas got six shoes that are popping right now. I think the NMDs are like the hottest right now. What is it about Adidas that has six hot kicks? You could have argued two years ago, zero. I mean, I think Kanye definitely helped. When Boost came out, everybody just hopped on it. That's a marketing play because there's a lot of other comfortable shoes out there. Everyone just wants it for the look. Like no one's actually wearing NMDs to go running and stuff. That's a good point. Uh, that is true though. Would you say that Boost is the new Air Max? Yeah, for this generation, I think so. But the Boost, I feel like it's a little more of a trendy thing. Like sooner or later, people are gonna be like, oh man, it's played out. Like I don't wanna wear it anymore, <laughs> so. And then um, ripped jeans, that's in right now. Um, like rock band tees, the bleach tees. I feel like stretch jeans have been in for a long time. I think the ones now, like they have like a better fit. A lot of people are putting a plaid pattern behind the patch yeah. now. So I think another shoe that's hot right now is like Asics. It's not too much and it's not too casual. Gel Light 3? Yeah. Gel Light 3 and Gel Light 5s, those are really big right now. Mm -hmm. The Van Skate High is still in too. Yeah. The skate highs and the old schools are really hot right now too. I definitely feel like I see more skate highs in New York because it's yeah. a little bit more of a protective shoe versus that low, you know, the checkered low. Are you talking about the damn Daniels? The yeah. damn Daniels. The damn Daniels. Damn Daniel. Oh, the tones. So oh, like, the tones. All the new stuff. All Watch your tone. Pastels. All of that stuff is in right now. So like, all like this new tone stuff and yeah. then like. Olive, like anything army green, olive green. Um, I also seen a lot of pictures of Kim K wearing like the nude color nude, yeah. uh, waistcoat. And then I've also seen more spandex. Yeah. Cause you would say like nude colors and those pastel colors, they're not flashy. It's like more low key and not as like crazy. 
Trucker hats. Trucker hats. I think Trucker hats are definitely making a comeback. On Dutch and Hardy oh, Trucker hats. Oh, Von Dutch. Those are the OG hats. Oh. Actually, so Kylie Jenner recently was wearing a Von Dutch hat. And like, they have been selling like crazy. All right, you know what? If Yeezy wears a trucker hat, I'm on it. Velour is actually pretty in right now too, like velour sweatsuits. Yeah, I've been seeing bombers made out of different material now, like suede bombers, velour bombers, belt, like satin bombers. Satin. Okay, so we just talked about what's coming into trend for 2016. Now, what is going out of trend for 2016? In my opinion, I would say that the bomber is still in, but not the green bomber. Every single brand in the mall has their own version of the olive green bomber. Do you think bombers blew up really fast? I think black bombers and like that navy color, those types of bombers are like pretty classic. I think elongated tees are also on their way out. I think uh, it's a little much. Yo, Andrew, you, were, you, had, you bought 79 of them from Cotton On. <laughs> what? Okay. Like half of that many, but okay. All right, oh, so there's okay. there's two ones I was into. I was into long tees, the scoop tees. I could see if they're going out a little bit, but the elongated tees with the zippers on the side, oh. definitely out. Yeah. It was just getting too much. Like, bro, show yeah. with the zippers. <laughs> we gotta talk about palace. Okay. Oh yes, it's like the second like supreme. Like oh. the kids that buy supreme are like. Oh, Palace, like, let me get some of that. And Supreme represents, like, New York skaters and, like, right. like a high taste. But then, like, what does Palace represent? It's supposed to represent, like, skaters also. I don't think it has the same staying power, in my opinion. All right, what about zipper pants and Balenciagas? I think those are de both definitely on their way out. Like, the Balenciaga arenas, like, definitely got super played out. The zipper pants, definitely. Let's show them the zippers a little bit. Who are the major style icons right now? And it's kind of crazy to say this, but Nick Young, the NBA player, is more famous for, like, fashion and his off-court life than anything he does on the court. <laughs> One other NBA player is Russell Westbrook. Yeah, and he has, like, like, a high trend. fashion out there. Yeah, he has a higher, you know, kind of, like, upscale. I think, like, people like Travis Scott, you know, he has kind of, like, the skater slash punk slash I listen to hip-hop, like, that type of look. He does. Like, is Bieber big? I feel like Bieber. 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 Jerry Lorenzo's always reposting uh, outfits that Bieber's wearing from uh, Fear of God. Um, and I feel like he's definitely more LA than he is New York. Of course, Kanye, all time. And I feel like for the rest Kanye. of Kanye's career, he's gonna be a fashion icon. Tyga? I feel like Tyga is a style icon. Because Tyga kind of blew up the snap bag. GQ just put Drake on the cover. And I know that that was really controversial because a lot of people say that Drake has notoriously been a, a poor dr to mediocre dresser. I'm not gonna say I like Drake's style really personally, but I think he kind of just like does whatever he wants. I feel yeah. like Drake gotta wear Drake's outfits. I and feel if like you're Drake not Drake, it just doesn't work the same with Kylie and Kendall Jenner. Kylie's really young and like she's out here doing a lot of things that girls wish that they could do. And the way she dresses, the colors that they wear, like they can just, they're monsters right now at selling stuff. You know one thing I realized is that people want to relate to people without skills. You look at a Kylie, man, if I was just born in her situation I could do what she does you know what I'm saying like you're exactly right with like people really relate to regular people but you guys what are your final thoughts on uh, fashion trends in 2016 I mean I like where fashion's headed I do like where streetwear's headed I do like how it converged with menswear and it doesn't seem like they're so separate anymore right yeah mm -hmm. and obviously Kanye is still hugely hugely influential all right my takeaways would be that one social media has sped everything up where fashion trends move in a cycle way faster a lot of the stuff that was going out three four or five years ago is coming back already i would say definitely the music cycle is so quick now it is nowadays if a song is like two weeks old it's old my takeaway is that Streetwear has just become a lot more accessible, so now you can buy all the stuff that you used to be able to only buy at sugar stores at like H&M, Forever 21, like Topshop. You know what? I do think technology kind of like unifies culture all around together. As technology unifies, does it also make everybody the same? Every time I look through my Instagram Explore page, all these girls look the same, the exact same. They look like Kylie. Same makeup, yes. One last thing I gotta ask you. 
Yes. What's one thing that the kids should buy right now? Definitely a pair of Adidas, so maybe like Ultra Boost or something like that. Um, I think it's very versatile. You can wear it with anything. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of Fun Bro Style featuring Monica Lynn, aka Thundercop. In the comment section below, make sure you, number one, let us know what your personal style is. Number two, let us know what your favorite and least favorite fashion trend is for 2016. And number three, let us know if there are any other topics regarding style that you want us to cover on our channel. Thank you, everybody. And until next time, we're out. Peace. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Monica Lin, aka Thundercup. And make sure you guys watch these videos over here, over here, and subscribe down below. All right, you guys. Peace. Bye.